Massive margin calls have already been issued before the squeeze has even started. Today I want to talk about why these margin calls are already being issued and what's likely to happen after the AMC Ape dividend is fully awarded and the squeeze really begins. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So. Tendi Barron tweeted saying, speculation. There's a rumor doing the rounds that Susquehanna Financial Group, LLP, got margin called today, back on Monday, for $48 billion. He said at this time, I can't verify or debunk this rumor, but justice is coming, very quickly replied with the attached DTCC margin call email. Now this appears to be an email from the DTCC directly to Susquehanna, suggesting they're currently in a deficit of $48 billion, which is the $48 billion NSCC margin call. Now I'm led to believe this is indeed a real margin call email, and this margin call did actually happen for two main reasons. Now the first reason I believe this to be real is because Susquehanna Financial Group LLP has a fiduciary duty to release public information denying any incorrect or non-factual rumours. The fact that Susquehanna didn't release a media publication denying any untrue rumours suggests this did actually happen. And now the second reason is because I've also heard rumours that a separate unnamed financial entity, although I'm sure we can guess who it was, actually lent them the $48 billion that they required to cover this margin call. While they did receive a $48 billion margin call, they received a $48 billion loan from an unnamed financial entity and therefore Susquehanna wasn't liquidated on this day. But even though they weren't liquidated on the Monday, they were very close to this liquidation point, and I do think it's only a matter of time before AMC runs up again, causing the true liquidation. Now I've noticed a very interesting recurring pattern that every time AMC runs over $20 per share and holds there for a few days, more and more funds end up in trouble, and more and more funds end up being liquidated or at least margin called. John Hempton tweeted saying, Dear Apes, have a laugh on my behalf. He said Friday was one of the worst thumpings that I've received in capital markets since the founding of the fund. He said it wasn't as bad as the days in the bad period, aka November 2020 to February 2021, aka the January run-up, but it was deeply, deeply unpleasant. Now what makes this interesting is the worst thumping John Hempton received is when GameStop ran to practically $500 per share. But interestingly, the second thumping is AMC only running above $20. That means right now, John Hempton received a worse thumping than he did back in June of 2021 when AMC ran to $72 per share. So why is he receiving a worse thumping now when AMC runs over $20 than he did back in June 2021 when AMC ran to $70 plus per share? Well, obviously over the last year, John Hempton and these other short hedge funds have been paying billions of dollars in AMC borrowing costs, in NSCC FTD fees, in costs that it takes to kick the can, and more and more of these costs. That's dwindled the size of their funds down from hundreds of billions of dollars down to only tens of billions of dollars, maybe even below. These funds have been approaching closer and closer to that margin call position and they've stacked their AMC short positions so large that even a small movement in the AMC stock practically crushes the fund. And Master Trader tweeted saying, meme stocks mooning is going to crash the financial markets. My analysts are analysing the data. You have been warned. So it seems it's got to the point when AMC has even a small run, many of these hedge funds end up in trouble and they end up being margin called for billions and billions of dollars. This is a time when AMC only runs over $20 per share that causes all these massive problems before the squeeze has even begun. And guys, if you haven't already, be sure to sign up to Moomoo right now using the link in the description below. You can currently get 10 free stocks worth up to a total of $25,000. Moomoo is very easy to use, it's incredibly customizable, they've got tons of technical indicators and advanced charting tools. From Moomoo's latest customer agreement, they officially state they do not sell your order flow, and therefore Moomoo is brilliant for buying those AMC and GameStop shares. And right now we have a very interesting time when these brokers and these hedge funds aren't working together, they're actually working against each other. In the past, these brokers and hedge funds have been on the same side, routing retail trades through the dark pool and issuing IOUs and synthetic shares to various different brokers. 
But right now, these brokers need to buy genuine AMC shares so that when the Ape stock dividend is released, these brokers can actually receive their Ape shares to give to real AMC shareholders. If these brokers are simply holding IOU shares, they won't receive that Ape dividend and they won't be able to satisfy their customer requirements. Bigham's tweet is saying, like I said last night in the stream, brokers will be scooping up AMC so they don't have to deal with rehypothecated shares that they will owe Ape shares to. Because these brokers are going into the market and buying genuine AMC shares to replace their phony IOUs and synthetic shares, this is what's actually causing the AMC price to rise over the last few days. And as a result, user of Intellect tweeted saying Big Money just bought $1.4 million of AMC call options at the $140 strike prices. He said AMC can go much higher, don't let these numbers distract you, AMC can go to all time highs before the split or dividend, and Ape can push AMC up to unimaginable highs. I don't think you should go out there and buy the $140 strikes right now as a YOLO, but what I do think you should do is continue holding your AMC shares and continue holding your Ape shares when the dividend is fully awarded. As Spence tweeted, he said, if brokers are trying to make Ape position close only, it's most likely to make sure those shares you sell go directly to the shorts who need them. Obviously, if you sell your Ape shares straight away, these brokers can take your Ape shares and give it to their other customers who haven't yet received their Ape dividend. As Spence said, and as I agree, he said that's why it's so important to hang on to your Ape shares, especially for the first week or two while these brokers are scrambling. The worst thing you can do is give these brokers an opportunity to buy Ape shares directly from you to give to their other customers that didn't receive their Ape dividend. As the Vegas chef Andrew tweeted, it seems like Ape is going to be in position close only mode in both Robinhood and Weeble. Ape will be in your accounts in August, but both Robinhood and Weeble so far are making this stock position close only as they don't support the trading of preferred stocks. Now obviously that is a case where Robinhood and Weeble are stealing the buy button once again and it gives these other brokers an opportunity to buy Ape shares directly from you. And that's why I think we should create a master list or at least go from the GameStop master list of brokers you can trust to handle your Spliverdand or handle your Ape dividend correctly. This is a master list of brokers that I will link down in the description below that correctly handle the GameStop stock split that inconclusively handled the Spliverdand and those that mishandled it as well. That way you can avoid brokers like Charles Schwab, eToro, Robin Hood, Trading212 and many other brokers that incorrectly mishandled the GameStop stock split. And finally, Ryan Rigg has a very important email response sent directly by John Merriweather of AMC Investor Relations to an AMC Ape investor. John Merriweather said, as Adam has said, the pricing for the AMC and Ape shares should behave like a two for one stock split. He said, hypothetically, because the AMC Common and Ape shares have the exact same rights, in theory, the opening price for AMC Common and Apes on August 22nd would be half the AMC closing price on August 19th. He said the markets are instantaneous, but I don't know if there's going to be pre-market trading, so it's all hypothetical, and we don't know what the price will actually be, but in theory, it should be half the previous day's closing price. He said if AMC stock price is $20 at the close of business on August 19th, the hypothetical opening price on August 22nd would be $10 for AMC Commons and $10 for Ape as well. As I originally suggested, the AMC Ape dividend is effectively a two for one stock split, just like GameStop were doing, but instead of issuing more GameStop shares, they're issuing an entirely different stock. But effectively it does behave the same and we should expect AMC to half in price and we should expect AMC and Ape to trade for the same value. But guys be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always guys be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.